Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. We are about to head in here and see what's in here. I guess it's, uh, it's where uh, Vic is, right? Or is it Val we're looking for right now? I can't remember. It's Vic, yeah. It's Vic. All right, so we are saving her points. She's leveled up. Uh, I think I'm going to give her some strength. Um, yeah. We're going to get some more toaster repair. And then we're going to give her some strength for some more health and the possibility to use some weird science stuff, maybe. Uh, then we have perks. And toaster repair. Uh, let's see. Sure, we'll take that. Then she's good. Then there's Zeus, uh, we're saving up there, we're saving up there. All right. Good, good. We need to see it to get up to small arms. Damn it, I forgot about that. Damn it. Okay, we'll have to uh, accept that little blunder. We need her up to small arms, 10. All right, what's in here? Large container. A Patriarch's Prototarp type hammer. 100 to 122 damage. Okay. That seems kind of nice. Uh, let's see. 113 to 151. 90 to 109. Uh, hmm. I think I'll put that down there for now, though she won't be using that as her main weapon. So that wasn't it. How do we get... There must be something in here, right? Where's the Patriarch's wing? Oh, down here. We need to get in here. Use Patriarch Winky. Okay. And so I was way off where the Patriarch's wing is. Uh, but I guess we got the Patriarch Winky now. I don't remember getting that. But it's fine. And apparently Vic is keeping some of his uh, more hardcore people here. This message is from my people. Strangers, cover your ears. How the fuck are we supposed to take Colorado Springs if you can't handle a band of waste trash? I'm fucking disappointed. I'm really these are some nasties. Finger taking mood, guys. Now, what do these go to? These go to these laser turrets. So I definitely want my mechanic here to come down here and disable that. Alright. And then I want you to come over here and disable that. Okay, that's a good start. Let's quick save. There's something in here too. Uh, I think we can take this guy out. Uh, let's... Um, hmm. Let's put you over here. Quan. You can come over here, I guess. 
Jody, you're fine where you are. Hawk, you're in, you need to be up front. And then there's Lucia. Where's Lucia? Lucia is here. Come over here. Actually, I think I'll put Jody over here. We'll wait for this guy to come down so that we can take him. Don't know what's in here yet, but that's okay. Let's shoot. Good hit, Jody. All right, Quan. And then really you. All right, uh, prepare. Lucia. Uh, uh, let's do Sallow because he has full penetration. All right. Then you prepare. Hawk. I think you come up here. Maybe one more and ambush. Quan. Come up here and ambush. Lucia, come up here, and ambush, and you prepare. All right, let's see. Ow! How did you even hit there? That's insane. All right, Lucia is down. This dude has a lot of armor. Let's hit you in the body. Destroy some of that armor. That was a good hit. I think Hawk is gonna... Finish him off if we can. Nice. And then you get back in cover here, I think. Because that Nox Bomber is nasty. Nasty. 95% to hit him. Let's do that and hit him in the head. Shoot him some more, and shoot him some more. All right, Jody. Um, hmm. We need someone to get Lucia up because she does nice amounts of damage. Good hits. Good hits. Uh. Prepare. Jody, you need to defend. Cello, you need to defend. And then there's Seuss here. Alright, he's dead. Prepare. Knock bomber. Yep. All right, Jody. Ah, he's out of range. Nice. He down. And then we have a dude down here. We have him up there. Um, 
Let's prepare with her. I should have picked him up or picked Lucy up. Really? Um, let's move over here. That'll give us some nice chance to hit there. But not the ability to shoot twice, which is annoying. Uh, Quan. If you pick her up. And then you can come down here and shoot him. Then you can finish him, I hope. Yeah. And get into some kind of cover here. And ambush. Zeus. He is out of range. He won't be in range by moving up there. He'll be in range by moving up here. But only a 10% chance. So let's ambush. You defend. Lucia. You heal. Alright. Good hits. Will he be able to shoot there? No. Good. Then we have... What do we have left? Uh, it seems like it's just him. Uh, let's head up here. Anyone else up here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, let's hit him in the body. Nice. And he is almost dead. Defend. And then Hawk can finish him off. Let's antidote it. <clears throat> okay, how much uh, longer is there? Alright, let's antidote it some more. Uh, Hawk, you need to injury kit. Right. Injury kit? Her. Alright, let's loot. Some rockets. A Sabo rocket. 66 to 100 damage. I think that's better than what we have, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, Alright, let's take a look up here. A Tundra Rifle Sniper Rifle, 91 to 125 damage. Not bad. I'm not sure if that's better than what we have, but we'll find out. A medic Pack. And an Ammo Box. What's up here? Door, door. And the calm. All right. Before we go back there, let's check what's to the in the side door here. Maybe there's something nice that we can use. Wendelin Reed. Okay. She's seated, hands locked into fists, sweating in the blazing heat from the fire. A glass of water lies untouched on the table behind her. A headless corpse slumps in a chair further down the table. She ignores it. Two empty chairs are labeled with reserved signs. She ignores these as well. She's glaring at you. Gwendolyn Reed. She's head of the Reed family. And my ex-boyfriend's mother. She's terrible. To everyone. Okay. You're not one of Victory's thugs. They at least look dangerous. Ah. You're the rangers that Saul Buchanan sent for. 
months ago, if I recall. Where are my daughters? Are they safe? Yeah, they're safe. It took time for us to get to Colorado. We were ambushed. I don't recall asking for excuses. <laughs> I asked if my daughters are safe. Mean woman. Well, ain't she friendly? Yes, we rescued Victory them. They had me sitting here for days, threatening to fill those empty chairs with my headless daughters, while you frolicked in the snow. She is an unpleasant woman. I will have words with Saul Buchanan about the punctuality of his servants. Make no mistake. Now go take care of his infantile son. If you can even manage that. Uh, who's that man at the table? What can you tell us about Victor Buchanan's operation? Uh, you do remember Lucia, what do you? What are you doing? She turns a frozen smile towards her ex-boyfriend's mom. We'll get you out of this, Mrs. Reed. I promise. As if your word means a stone nickel to me, Lucia Wesson. Mrs. Reed didn't approve of Isaac and me. As if I wasn't good enough for her coward of a son. Who's the dead man at the table? My younger brother. Victory Buchanan found it amusing to saw off my brother's head in front of me. He left the corpse to keep me company. And also, as he put it, in case I got very hungry. Okay. What can you tell about Victory Buchanan's operation? I have been sitting here motionless for days, you witless buffoons. Answering his questions and denying any association with his lawless sister Liberty, who he is convinced is plotting his downfall. As if he needed any help. Eh, yeah. why do you think uh, Victory forced you to sit here? It is some petty revenge for a well-deserved slight I paid him at some dinner or another years ago. What a small man. I embarrassed him by asking him a simple question he had no answer to, then told him he didn't deserve a place at the table. This, I suppose, is his little joke. Okay, goodbye for now. Right, well, there's a container there. Loot all that. And there's a door to the outside. We know there's a wolf out there, but what else is out here? I wonder. A fox, not a wolf. Alright, let's go in this side door. Oh, it's just into where we were before. We. Doesn't, didn't seem like there was anything out there, really. Nope. Alright, there's Vic. Let's do a quick. Save. I guess we need to talk to him. Hey, strangers! Shit! It took you long enough to get here. Open the door. We have business uh, to settle with you. Rangers, let's not waste time talking. We should put this monster down. Play it safe, Rangers. We want him alive. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Wow. Hey, hey, look who it is, Clarence. Daddy's Rangers. <laughs> In the flesh. The Rangers? I heard they were a bunch of little fucking chicken shits. He is nuts. I know, I know. It was hard to get here, and no offense, but you can... Buck right off back to Colorado Springs and tell Daddy you failed. I like it here. Who's Clarence? You don't call the shots here, you fucking psycho. Put down your weapons and surrender. Who's Clarence? You know, my friend Clarence here. What? You don't see him? Oh, shit. Am I seeing things again? Hold on. No, 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 no. You're, you're here, Clarence. Woo. Oh. Give me a scare there, chicken shits. <laughs> now, get the fuck out of here. No, we're not going anywhere. You don't call the shots here, you fucking psycho. You we're calling, calling me names? names? Oh, in front of my best friend? <laughs> Gotta be honest with you, Rangers. You're not making the best first impression on us. <laughs> so why should we listen to you? Huh? 
the gift turned on you. Your breather cronies won't help you now. If we freed the rangers you've been holding, even if you kill us, they're coming for you next. Kiss ass 10, be smart. Your father will keep sending people and you have nowhere left to run. What are your chances? We can tell from looking at your eyes that you've been using those gases. We need to get you to Dr. Stat. You're done, Vic. We're just Team November. Team X-Ray is outside with sniper rifles. Uh, let's do... Let's try Kiss-Ass. Ooh, that does sound tough. Eh, but I'm not worried. Not as long as I got my good buddy Clarence here. Clarence? Clarence? Oh, no! Oh, Clarence! He was two days away from retirement! He is not. Huh? Fine. You got me, Rangers. Now what? Uh, surrender. Oh, that it? Sure thing, officers. Oh, but hold on. Before you slap the cuffs on, I have a... Hmm, what's the word? A proposition for you. Don't lock me up. Take me with you. And I'll give you the VIP tour of Daddy's Kingdom. Everyone here knows me. Everyone's fucking terrified of me. And that means they'll be terrified of you. Yeah, um, but you're going to jail. What's our guarantee you won't stab us in the back? Arrest. You're out of your mind. No way. You know what? Why the hell not? Welcome to the team. Uh, arrest. We're gonna we're gonna arrest him. Well, at least I tried. Take me away from all this, officer. Okay. Copy November one. This is Ranger HQ. Go ahead. Uh, we placed Vic Buchanan under arrest. Send the team to pick him up in Aspen. We call her Vic Buchanan. Time to put this sick fuck behind bars. Uh, we place Vic Buchanan under arrest. Great job, November one. Colorado will be better off with that guy behind bars. Over and out. We agree. All right. Vic is in custody. Let's see what's here. There's something over there. By the look of this map of Colorado has been crumbled many, many times. You smooth out the wrinkles and see three women's names in some directions beneath them written in a plain capitalized letters. Probably by the patriarch himself. At the top of the map is a single word, Graves. Okay. I know those names. Those, those are the poor ladies who married the patriarch. Every last one of them dead. Cleo, Laura, Olivia. Cleo, Aspen, outside ski shop. Patriarch riding slanted, rushed, almost dismissive. Laura, it's difficult to read these small smeared letters. Colorado Springs, Northwest Park, Quince Bushes. Okay, Olivia. The name hovers above a circle surrounding a remote location outside Colorado Springs. The Patriarch's letters are smaller than here than elsewhere, near the Hoon's residence. Okay step away from the map all right so maybe we can find some stuff there who knows all right let's take a look at this what's this toaster we can't do that Ooh. Uh, permanently increases leadership by one not bad what's this polar vortex 41 to 49 damage okay uses energy cells and a patient report, Saul Buchanan. It was a medical evaluation of the Patriarch. Okay, we'll do that. We can't do the toaster, unfortunately. Then there's a drug stash. With a cassette. K-cannon revolver. 115 to 142 damage, wow. Okay, Here's some Brigo's cigars.
No hunger. Just like a dream. Dream. Yes. This is my gift to you. You understand? Do as I say, and you can stay in the dream. Is completely nux. Empty bottles of pain medicine and alcohol surround the sink. Somebody's been having either a really good time or a really bad time. Probably the first, to be honest. Since it's in here, Vic has probably been having fun. Okay. So I guess that's it. I don't think there's anything else to do here, really. I think we've been through it all. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we've been through it all. Yep. Alright, well, let's head out. Let's go quickly talk to uh, Woody if he's there. See if. Oh, he's gone. Alright, I guess they're all gone then. Oh, they're standing there. Riley would wonder if it got you. Nope. Good to see you getting shit done, November. Our radio HQ will get them to send us some transport. See you there. Yeah. Ditto. You're all right. Before you head out, I have something to ask you. If I go okay. back to Ranger HQ now, I'll probably end up in a room doing lab work. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of research. I'd rather take my chances out there with you. There are some things you just can't learn in the lab, you know? So, can I join your squad? Mm. Uh, we're full, but I will go switch back to one of the others, I guess, later. Glad to join your team. Okay. Um, what does Pesepi have? Automatic weapons, weird science, and nerd stuff. Okay. I think we'll switch her out with Quan for now. Looks back at the spit, shivering with the cold, but afraid of the flames. Alright, good luck to you. God protect and preserve you, strangers. Alright, we're he heading back to Colorado Springs to get Quan back. Uh, because we need his skills. But anyway, uh, we are out of time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.